Hi, I'm Bill Collins, Interstate Truck Driving School. Today's safety tip, we're going to talk about the proper way to enter and exit a tractor trailer rig using what we call the three points of contact. Come on with me, let's go over to the truck. The Federal Motor Carrier Safety Regulations require provisions for drivers to be able to get in and get out of trucks safely. They require handholds, they require, require proper steps. So understand that the federal government's looking out for you, providing you with proper safety equipment to get in and get out of these trucks, but now you gotta follow the rules and get in and get out properly. Let me show you how. What we wanna do as we enter our truck is we always wanna maintain contact with three limbs. So we've got four, two feet and two arms. So as you are entering the vehicle, notice I've got handholds here and here. I've got a handhold out here and one up here on the inside of the door. So as I go into the truck, I grab my two handhelds here, put my feet up, I come up to the second step, now I can grab again, and I'm in, secure, three points of contact, I'm ready to do my job. Okay, we were showing you the proper way to get in and get out of a truck using one of our newer rigs. That's an 07 Freightliner Coronado. This is an older truck. This is a 1990 International. We still have the same handhelds. Now the steering wheel becomes one of my handhelds on this truck. This one's a little steeper climb to get in and get out. But very important in a truck like this that you're using the proper three points of contact. Now the wrong way to get in a truck. First of all, don't just jump up in there without holding on properly like this hoping you make it. You might fall out and that's going to be the end of your work day. When it's time to get out of the truck. When you get out of the truck it's the exact same process. Grab your handhelds. My three points of contact. I've got my handhelds down to the first step, I down to the second step, change my handheld, three points of contact the entire way out. That's the correct way to get out of a truck. So again getting out I'm going to use my steering wheel as one of my points of contact, okay? So here I'm safe and secure, I can make my steps down, always maintaining three points of contact in an older truck. It's the way to do it, gentlemen. When you come out of the truck, take your time. This is the wrong way to get out of a truck! Ah! That's the wrong thing to do, ladies and gentlemen. Now an important ingredient to being able to get in get out of these trucks properly is proper footwear, okay? First of all, no sandals, no tennis shoes, cowboy boots only if you put lugged soles on them. The typical cowboy boot has a smooth leather sole, not acceptable for driving truck, okay? So if you want to wear your cowboy boots, get them uh, soled up with some lugs. Now, what you want is a good lug pattern on, your, on the soles of your uh, shoes or boots to get good traction. Here's an example of some shoes that are worn out with a smooth sole like that. No, not acceptable, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Go out and spend the money to get some good footwear. Yeah, it's going to cost you a few bucks to get some good Red Wings or something from REI or something, but you want good footwear to give you good traction going in and out of these things so you don't slip and fall. Okay, one of the things that you want to consider working around trucks is be real aware of potential spills on the ground with oil and diesel fuel. You walk through this oil, now the soles of your shoes, shoes or boots are slippery. That's going to increase the likelihood of a, uh, of a slip or a fall. Whenever you go fuel a truck, be careful. If you spill any diesel on the ground, diesel fuel is very slippery. It's got a lot of oil content to it. That's a part of the lubrication qualities of uh, diesel fuel necessary to run a diesel uh, motor properly. So diesel on the ground is going to be real slippery. So be careful if you spill anything and anytime you go into a truck stop, don't be surprised if the previous driver has spilled some diesel, making the ground very slippery. Again, you get that on your boots, and then when you go to climb in and out of your truck, you slip and fall and hurt yourself, and now you're out of work. So be real careful around fuel stops. Along with good footwear, your outerwear is important. Good gloves, okay? I've, I've always got a couple pair of gloves, one regular work gloves. I've got another pair of gloves just for fueling so I don't get diesel uh, fuel on my gloves and then put them in my jacket. Keep your jacket buttoned up or zipped up. Don't let it go flying in the breeze and let it get caught on things. Wintertime up here in Minnesota, I've always got a hood with me. Proper gear, proper footwear and outerwear, that's important to doing the job safely too. Okay, well I hope you've gathered some important information with our little introduction to three points of contact today. This is important stuff. It may seem to be something that's trivial, it might seem to be not that important, 
but let me tell you something, more truck drivers get hurt on the job falling off of a truck or trailer than any other single type of injury. This is important, this is serious, it's important for you to be able to keep your job and stay at work and enjoy life here in the good old U.S. of A. I'm Bill Collins with Interstate Truck Driving School. Check us out on the web at www.interstatedriving.com. Thanks for watching, have a great day, but more important, a safe day.